Hello beautiful people, welcome to this week's meal prepping. Don't let all of this produce fool you, I already put away all of the junk. If your jazz is to watch me put away all of the junk, I have a few videos already in the stash and I will link them below. But right now, we are pretending to be healthy. Starting off with getting Ryan's fruit ready for his lunch this week. Usually I'll do a mixture of white grapes, red grapes, blueberries, and strawberries if they're in season, but lately everything has just been off. The blueberries are gross, the strawberries are gross, and it's a hit or miss when it comes to the white grapes. I don't know, it's just been really hard for me to find good produce lately. This is why I plan on starting my vegetable garden this spring. Just wait on it, y'all. Once that last frost hits, I'm growing everything. I already started my seeding. Just call me Farmer Dan. Moving on to Cole's lettuce, you guys, I cannot get this kid to eat anything healthy besides lettuce and occasionally apples, and I have to do a whole magical dance for him to eat that. The celery for Ryan's lunch, and ugh, I mean, I don't know how anybody can eat this stuff raw. Like, this stuff is disgusting. Like, who eats this stuff? How do you guys eat this stuff? You cannot look me straight in the face and tell me that celery is good. Time to chop up my peppers for my tri blend. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, you can just buy this stuff. Yes, yes you can, but as soon as you open the package, it goes bad. Really, this goes for any produce. That's why I like to do this stuff myself because it lasts longer, at least a week. If I go and buy like lettuce or peppers or whatever, as soon as I open that package, it's, it's done. I gotta use it that day and that's it. Do y'all like cabbage? Because I'm the only one that eats it here, so I'm gonna shred some up and make into a side so I can eat it with some rice or something for lunch. But yeah, nobody in this house seems to like cabbage except me. Oh, also, I got the purple kind for no other reason besides that it's pretty. Another vegetable that no one in this house eats but me, I plan on roasting some vegetables another side for a quick lunch.
on to making my oatmeal bars, granola, whatever you want to call it. But let me tell you about this thing here. Well, this and really anything that I bake, these kids will give me a big old head when I make something because we have granola bars, store bought ones that have just been sitting in the pantry for like a month or so. The kids will not touch it. But whenever I make something, it's gone at the same day. Like these things do not last. So toot toot, that's me tooting my own horn cause these kids make me feel like I'm Betty. So I'm trying to figure out if there's others out there like me or if I'm just weird. But I absolutely hate touching eggs and raw meat. Like it just grosses me out. So as soon as I like, I crack it and I do what I need to do, I'm washing my hands. And when I touch meat, like if I'm cooking meat, I'm using gloves. Like I just, I hate touching them. Went and got my big girl attire and put on my apron because this is about to get messy. I am making empanadas for dinner. If it seems like I'm struggling a little bit here, it's because the butter is frozen and I have no upper body strength. Cole asked to help me make dinner and honestly, I have the best kids ever. They always wanna help me cook. They always wanna help me clean. The problem is I am a type A person and I like things done in a certain way and I don't like people in my way when I'm working. I would love to say that I'm one of those mothers that always has her kids in the kitchen with me, but listen, they got about 10 minutes to do what they gotta do and then they gotta go. So with all of the things that I do, I really should think about getting a bigger food processor, but oh, I just hate the clumpy bigness and it's just like, where would I put it? Like all of my appliances are like tiny. You see my little tiny crock pot in the back. I have a little tiny rice cooker. Everything is tiny because I don't, I don't got a space for all of this stuff. And even though I do struggle a little bit with my tiny appliances, it's, it's working for now and it, look, I, I don't like the clutter, so this is what it's gonna be. So this needs to sit in the fridge for about an hour and while it's marinated, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in containers and put them away.
Remember that little dance I told you guys earlier that I needed to do to get Cole to eat his apples? Well, this is it. When I tell you guys this kid is so picky, I have to dehydrate these apples before he was actually eating apples perfectly fine. I mean, I did have to peel the skin off, but now he won't touch them at all. So I, I've been doing this, but I've always done this like as a treat for them because they love it. And honestly, I love it too. But yeah, we're doing this. But I really wish that he would just eat like Kaylin. Literally, I can just put anything in front of this girl. No questions asked, she's eating it. Now I'm gonna make my cabbage. There's nothing fancy about this. I'm just throwing it in a pot, putting some seasoning in it and calling it a day. are finally done with the prepping now it's time to get started on dinner Sundays are usually the days that I do a little bit extra when it comes to dinner like I'll make multiple meals because Cole I already told you guys it's picky like I can do that on a Sunday because I'm usually relaxed it's during the week man you guys are gonna eat whatever I make if you don't want it you are gonna have to start like I, I just I hate cooking during the week I don't know if it's because I'm working and I'm doing all of these other things but I absolutely hate cooking during the week and don't ask me what I am making because I am gonna freak out blow up and just you guys are gonna eat cereal leave me alone
going to put these in the oven and bake them now these can be baked or fried personally i like to bake them because one they already aren't the healthiest and two i hate cleaning up oil so anything that can make it a little bit easier for me and here's dinner as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and if you haven't yet subscribe